is QT really free? Hi my name is Hamisi and in this video, we will be looking at the QT application and explain whether it is free to use or not. We will be looking at all QT applications such as PyQT and PySide. So what is QT? Well according to Wikipedia, QT, pronounced as Qt, is a widget toolkit for creating graphical user interfaces, as well as cross-platform applications, that run on various software and hardware platforms, such as Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Android, or embedded systems, with little or no change in the underlying codebase, while still being a native application with native capabilities and speed. To put it in simple terms, Qt is a software used to develop graphical user interfaces and multi-platform applications that run on all major desktop platforms and most mobile or embedded platforms. Who develops and maintains the Qt application? Qt is currently being developed by the Qt company, a publicly listed company, and the Qt project under open source governance, involving individual developers and organizations working to advance Qt. So which licenses does the Qt application fall under? Qt is available under both commercial licenses and open source GPL 2.0, GPL 3.0, and LGPL 3.0 licenses. So let me explain what these license terms mean and the limitations of using them, then later we will look at some of the most commonly asked questions about Qt software. What is GPL? GPL is the acronym for GNU's General Public License, and it's one of the most popular open source licenses. This means that any software that is written based on any GPL component must be released as open source. The result is that any software that uses any GPL open source component is required to release its full source code and all of the rights to modify and distribute the entire code. Does that mean I can't sell my GPL software or code? Of course not. GPL allows the users to sell the original as well as the modified software. However, if someone buys your program for a fee, GPL gives that person the liberty to release it to the public, with or without a fee. So do I have to release my source code to the public? Yes, and no. GPL requires you to release the modified source code only if you release the modified program. This means that if you made any changes to Qt software and want to release the work to the public, you also have to release those changes you made. However, if you've modified a program source code for personal use, there's no need to release its source code. I know these terms might be a little bit confusing to some of you guys, but continue watching, I will simplify them as we go on with the explanations. The Qt software is also available under the LGPL 3.0 licenses, so what is LGPL? LGPL is a free software license that allows developers and companies to use and integrate a software component released under the LGPL into their own software, without being required by the terms of a strong copyleft license to release the source code of their own components. However, any developer who modifies an LGPL-covered component is required to make their modified version available under the same LGPL license. For proprietary software, code under the LGPL is usually used in the form of a shared library, so that there is a clear separation between the proprietary and LGPL components. The LGPL is primarily used for software libraries, although it is also used by some standalone applications. So what does this mean? To put it in simple terms, in the LGPL license, you are only required to publish the changes you make to the Qt software, and this is very uncommon since Qt applications and libraries are well developed, and you might not need to make any changes to them. Now let us see some of the most frequently asked questions about the Qt open source licensing. Is it possible to distribute applications developed with an open source version of Qt via public application stores such as Apple, Google Play, and Windows App Store? Each application store has its own unique terms and conditions, which may or may not be compatible with distributing applications under LGPL or GPL licenses. The commercial license of Qt is compatible with the terms and conditions of all the leading application stores, and thus typically the best choice for distributing a closed source application in various application stores. Can I mix code written with open source Qt and commercially licensed Qt? No. If you want to migrate from open source Qt to a commercial license, you should contact the Qt company about options in practice. Can I use the community open source version to develop my commercial product? It depends on how you license and distribute your product. The open source version of Qt is mainly distributed under the LGPL version 3 and GPL 2.0 or 3.0. You will need to fulfill the license obligations for these licenses when using Qt in your product. What is the consequence of not complying with the LGPL or GPL restrictions? 
If software using these open source licensed libraries does not fully comply with the license obligations you will lose your license and related distribution rights. So in conclusion, is Qt for Android, Qt for iOS, Qt for Python, or Qt for C++ really free? Well, the answer is yes and no, it all depends on what you want for your application, if you don't mind dealing with GPL or LGPL open source licensing, then you can use Qt products for free, although not all Qt products are free to download and use. If you don't like the GPL or LGPL open source licensing terms, then you have to purchase a commercial license from the Qt company for you to be able to distribute your app. Okay that is where we wrap up this video, if there is any important part I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Also leave your suggestions or requests, and I'll try and respond. Don't forget to leave a like and share this video, if you found it helpful. You've been watching Spin TV, until next time. Bye bye.